Namaste and welcome to our channel. Today we will learn about Navratri. It is a nine-day festival dedicated to the worship of the formidable goddess Durga and her various incarnations. Each day holds a unique significance, honoring the different aspects of the divine feminine energy. On the auspicious day one, the air is filled with reverence for the goddess Shailaputri, the daughter of the mountain, radiating pure and unadulterated power. She is mounted atop a bull, symbolizing the unwavering strength that lies within the natural world, adorned in the vibrant hues of red that represent her fierce energy. As the celebration progresses to day two, the devotees pay homage to the goddess Brahma Charini, embodying the virtues of penance and devotion. With her rosary and water pot in hand, she epitomizes the dedication to spiritual pursuit her youthful grace serving as a beacon for those seeking enlightenment. The third day witnesses the veneration of Chandraganta, named after the crescent moon adorning her forehead. Her bell-like shape is believed to dispel malevolent forces, bestowing peace and fortitude upon her worshippers. Moving on to the fourth day, the divine form of Kushmanda is revered, her radiance illuminating the entire cosmos. Known as the creator of the cosmic egg, she embodies the source of all creation, her divine light symbolizing the infinite power of the universe. On the fifth day, the devotees honor Skandamata, the nurturing mother of Lord Kartikeya. Cradling her beloved son in her lap, she epitomizes the epitome of maternal love and protection, her compassionate embrace offering solace and reassurance to her devotees. With the arrival of the sixth day, the fierce and formidable form of Katyayani is celebrated. It is believed that she manifests to vanquish the demon Mahishasura, granting her devotees the gift of unparalleled strength and courage. As the festival enters its penultimate phase, the formidable goddess Kalaratri is exalted on the seventh day. Mounted on a donkey, wielding a potent sword, she epitomizes the protective and destructive aspects of the divine, fiercely guarding her devotees from harm and evil. The eighth day witnesses the worship of the ethereal Mahagari, the epitome of purity and grace. Her fair complexion and serene countenance radiate an aura of tranquility, embodying the embodiment of supreme divinity. Finally, on the ninth and final day of the sacred festival, the devotees offer their adoration to Siddhidatri, the grantor of supernatural powers and blessings, with her four arms representing her boundless capabilities, she is believed to fulfill the heartfelt desires of her faithful devotees, blessing them with divine boons and prosperity. As the grand festival of Navratri comes to a close, the devotees depart with their hearts brimming with devotion and gratitude, having received the blessings and grace of the nine divine forms of the mighty goddess Durga. If you found this summary helpful, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Thank you for joining us on this spiritual journey. Happy Navratri!